Hi, I'm Rabbi Lisa Greshko. This week's parasha is Emor, which means speak. And in it, God tells Moses to speak to Aaron's family, the priests, and tell them the rules about how they should live their lives. God also tells Moses who can and who can't lead the services. This may not sound so interesting, but in fact, it'll help us to discover what's really important to us today and how we see our communities. Sometimes, the Torah teaches us by making us upset. In Amor, we learned that anyone who had anything wrong or unusual with their body couldn't serve in the tabernacle as a priest. Whether you had a broken leg or a broken arm, being blind or walking with a limp, anyone with a disability is kept out. People have lots of explanations for these rules. In ancient times, many religions kept people from serving God if they had a disability. They used to think that if there was something different about you on the outside, then there was something different about you on the inside too. Now we know that's not true. And if you look in the Torah, you see that some of our most important characters had disabilities. Jacob walked with a limp after he wrestled with the angel. And Moses, our greatest leader, had a stutter which made it hard for him to talk. Can you imagine anyone telling Moses there was something he couldn't do? Today, we want to involve everyone in Jewish life. In the synagogue where I serve, we built a special elevator up to the bima so people can get to the bima even if they can't climb the stairs. We have special hearing aids for people who have a hard time hearing the service and we're hoping to bring in a sign language interpreter too, so everyone can come pray. And of course, many leaders and rabbis in the Jewish world have disabilities too. We still have a ways to go, but we're trying to get it right. Emor makes us think about why it matters so much to include everyone. Why should we care if someone is left out? Well, Emor also teaches us about sacrifices how everybody could offer a sacrifice, how everybody had something to bring. And if it's true that we all have something to bring, then if you leave somebody out, you're taking something away from the community. Everybody loses out. But if you let everybody come in, if everyone is part of the community, then everyone can bring their gifts. Recently, a band from Zimbabwe gave a concert in my synagogue the band is called Liana, and it's made up of young adults, all of whom have serious physical disabilities. Their lead singer, Prudence, said something so powerful. She said, disability does not mean inability. And to that, based on Parshat Emor, I would add, God made each of us who we are, and God gave each of us gifts. Our role is to see the gifts in each other and in ourselves. Yeah.